Let's move to the next project, Pick and Place and Human Art. So, four to six students are working on that project. It's a very different uh, type of project. So, I like to ask Devidatta will explain everything about his project. Hello everyone, my name is Devidatta Tripathi. Me and my team has uh, done a project on Pick and Place robot on industrial use. Let me show uh, our project. So, th this is our project. This is a particular section of an uh, industry. So, there are two purging machines here and one pick and press robot and there are three railings here sorry the three conveyors and this is the base and this is the outer fence and these are the rakes as you can see here so basically let me explain you the whole operation how it works so first the workpiece will will be placed here and it will come here then the pick and press robot will pick from here and it will press under this forging machine then the for, for one type of forging operation will be done. Then after the forging operation, the pick and press robot will pick this workpiece from here and it will put here. It will come from here to here and then again this robot will pick this workpiece from here and it will place it, place it here. Another time, another type of forging operation will be done here. After the operation, the robot will pick the workpiece from here and it will uh, come to here and another some uh, uh, some worker will uh, take it to the rake for storing so okay let me show you the explore view of our project as you can see that the small parts that are designed for this project so these are the rail these are the outer fence, these are the, these are the outer fence, these are the part of the forging machines. This is the forging machine, this is the main part of the forging machine, this is the forging press, and these are all these parts. We have assembled it and finally we got this project. Let me show you how the pick pick and place robot works. So earlier we have to program it, so we give the all the motion and kinematics to it. And let me show you some operation. As you can see, this is one part which can turn. And this is another part which is moving and this is another part which is working in the motion. That's all. Thank you. I am MD Rizwan Najis. My project is working on the humanoid as a traffic, a traffic robot. Uh, in my, because, with the help of my group, I have done this project and now is working on the project. This project, there is a yellow light and again uh, this is this robot is work as a traffic on the traffic as a traffic control at the time and there is a one body a half body of the upper body of the body robot will move uh, after 80 second and that time yellow light will be uh, yellow light will be open on and then after and then after there is a camera uh, one camera is uh, here and two camera on the arm and uh, two camera on the face and there's also we have used one camera on the back side so we are in digital world so obviously there's a project name with digital twin is there so i would like to ask uh, uh, pradeep to explain uh, everything about his project myself pradeep kumar me and my team working on a very good project named as digital twin let me first explain you what is digital twin in our real life whatever we see physically we can make it this uh, digitally uh, by the help of some software here we are using 3d experience in 3d experience we have, we have many many workbench like here catia delmia simulia so <coughs> we previously we did three projects on digital twin here yeah, let me show you one of our interesting project uh, this this is electric vehicle plant here we have prepared one plant layout um, where we made different different sections like uh, fabrications and uh, assembly unit paint shop dispatch unit let me show you our walk, walk through area 
so this is our entry here we can this is our security room parking area and this is our raw material sections where we can bring our uh, raw materials then we will go for fabrications like uh, we we cut our uh, we cut materials according to our measurements and here here is the grinding section and this is our welding section and so this is our paint shop there are many many chambers like acid wash and uh, uh, water lines and paint chamber heat sections we we follow many steps for painting finally we will we will get into our assembly unit here are different different parts are assembled for integra integration of vehicles and here is the brake brake sections brake dump sections tire unit battery unit and uh, suspension systems and frame sections and uh, seat sections so likewise we can integrate whole vehicle in a single unit so this is our canteen and here 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 is the safety unit and this is our head office this is our head office this is our security room room here we have three gates three main gates that's all about thank you